While a vast majority of Americans support the construction of high-speed rail according to multiple studies, there are some people out there that, well, they think otherwise. Hundreds of other Treasure Coast residents rallying against All Aboard Florida. HSR worldwide is, is heavily subsidized and they don't, they don't ever stay private if they do get started private, so we're pretty certain that that's the inevitable outcome. We need to kill this so it doesn't destroy our communities. Hundreds attending a standing room only emergency meeting Monday night about California's high-speed rail project. Here are three of some of the top major misconceptions that anti-train people have about high-speed rail and hopefully the facts out there will make their hearts grow three sizes bigger. One common misconception is that trains are noisy. And yes indeed, the trains do make noise. But not nearly as much noise as a highway nor an airport. Research was done in California comparing decibel levels between highways, cities, commuter trains, and bullet trains. And through it, they found that you would have to have a 220 mile an hour bullet train with no sound barriers in order to reach the noise levels of a normal city highway. Of course, most of these tracks do have a sound barrier in urbanized areas. Also, a train going about 200 miles an hour passes within a couple seconds and sounds quite like this. as opposed to the constant drone of an eight-lane highway with your occasional diesel trucks, street racers, and motorcycles. Yes, because those are very quiet. Bonus round for those of you saying that the trains will disturb cattle. Here's some video footage from France showing the cattle going completely crazy. Oh no. Oh, there's four cows. Oh no. Now environmentalists love high-speed rail for the low carbon footprint and much cleaner way of transportation. However, there are some environmentalists that are actually against high-speed rail. Check out these people in California. We are all here together speaking with one voice and having the board of the high-speed rail hear us. A lot of them are upset about the fact that the California High-Speed Rail Authority may or may not dig under the San Gabriel Mountains and many are upset that the train is being built anywhere near them. While we've already covered the factual and environmental benefits of high-speed rail numerous times, Californians and other seriously misguided tree huggers can consider the alternative. The population is growing and the government will, without any care or consent for property, build another eight-lane highway with the same capacity as the rail lines. That means a lot more delicious smog that California is known for. So take note, if you're against high-speed rail for environmental reasons, know that you're not hugging this tree, but you're actually hugging this tree. We went up to the All Aboard Florida FDFC meeting back last year. We were pretty shocked that the opposition groups didn't know that automobile roads don't make any money. Actually, no, we weren't, we weren't that amazed. In fact, automobile roads aren't the only ones that don't make money. The airlines actually don't make a profit either. Out of all three methods of transportation, the only one that is capable of making a profit are the railroads. And freight railroads, hey, they're extremely good at making profit. And passenger railroads historically used to be even better. So much that the Florida East Coast Railroad at a time halted freight traffic to revel in all the good old timey passenger cash. Modern railroads have been capable of doing the same thing. The Japanese railways turn in profit, as does the German Deutsches Bahn. Some railroads themselves can even run on operating revenue, including the Tohoku Shinkansen and Amtrak's own Acela Express. Even non-high-speed rail companies like the Hong Kong Metro's MTR is one of the most profitable passenger rail companies in the world. Heck, one of the most profitable companies, period. By the way, ask Richard Branson, who owns both an airline and a railway. See what he prefers. That was a lot we covered today and hopefully it made everyone a bit smarter. If you want to learn more about high speed rail coming to America, be sure to check out our hit documentary, The American Train. And also be sure to subscribe to the High Speed Rail America Club to receive more news about high speed rail here in America and around the world. We'll see you guys next time.